Hello Average Anglers, I'm Wesley DiGiacino and today we're going to show you how to spool line onto your new reel properly so you don't get line twist. We're going to start with um, the Abu Garcia Black Max 30 series that um, I purchased on my $50 Dix Challenge um, for my wife. So before we can get out and catch some fish with it we got to put line on it. stuff we purchased was the rod, uh, suffix braid, it's 20 pound, some VMC wide gap and four rod hooks. I really like these hooks because they have the resin over the eyelet to close the eyelet so your line doesn't pull off. Um, great hooks for the price. And we have some yum dinger. Um, green pumpkin with shark tooth tails, little tips. So um, that's what we'll be using. Um, so to begin with, normally you have a couple options of how you can um, spool up your, your reels. When I purchased this line, I wasn't really thinking, and it's 100 yards. So 100 yards won't quite fill this reel. So I have two options. I can either back it with electrician's tape or I can back it with another type of line, typically monofilament, which I have. I didn't purchase it in that $50 um, budget challenge, but I have this and I'm going to go with backing it with this opposed to backing it with electrical tape because it's um, kind of a gives you a little visual cue when you get into the end and it'll allow us to respool next season or later this season without having to buy a 300 yard spool so cost effective way the, the best way to go is to always back your line and then only spool on 100 yards max of what you're going to fish with that way if you buy a 300 yard spool you can re-spool three times with it um, opposed to putting 300 yards on one spool and then when it go when it's bad you have to re-spool the whole spool again so we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to back with a monofilament tie the blood knot, I believe is what it's called, I'm not real good with the knot names, or it could be a uni knot, but we're going to tie the two lines together, connect the two lines, and then um, that'll be that. Um, so let's get started. So whenever you're spooling a spinning reel, you want to, it's very critical how you put hold the line while you're spooling and where it ties um, to avoid line twist. Now spooling braid, you typically don't have to worry too much about line twist. Um, braid doesn't have any memory and it will straighten out on its own. Still a good practice to do it properly because you can have problems and will. Um, but the way to think about this is as your line is coming off of this spool, you want it to go onto this spool the same way it came off. So the memory of the way this is wrapped, you can see that twist, will be laying on the reel naturally. So as you can see, this reel, when I turn to spool line on, it turns this direction. So that every time this is coming around this way, if I was looking head on, it would be clockwise. If I'm looking from the butt end, it's going to be counterclockwise. But I want the line to come off the spool the same way that's turning. So counterclockwise off of the line spool is the way you want it to go. So what I'll do is I'll start by just sitting it on the floor and having it so that this line is going to come off, as you can see, in a clockwise, counterclockwise spiral. And the first thing you want to do is tie a regular old overhand knot right in the end of the line and get it nice and tight. And 
and once you get it nice and tight and you've pulled it, just snip off that tag end as close to the knot as you can. Right, just about like that. Give it a good pull. Now, holding this line naturally the way it came off this spool, so it's not all twisted. I'll put it back on, as you can see. naturally the way the memory of the line wanted to lay. I'm going to make sure I pull that off the same way and it goes on to the spool. Now this knot is like what we're going to tie is going to be a slip, a slip knot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of come, to come around, the, around the spool, have a little extra, and then I'm going to go, and I'm just basically going to tie another overhand knot around that line. So I'm going to come around it and back, as you can see, over and back through. Just so another, another overhand knot going around that one. And you can have, you can pull it out so that there's a, plenty of tag line like that. That's totally fine. Um, and you're going to want to snug that up pretty tight. Then you're going to want to put that over the spool so that the knot that slides is on the top. Always make sure you open the bale first, otherwise you'll have to disassemble your spool to get it onto the bale. So just flip your bale open, put it over, and you can see how the Right now, that's the, the top piece right here is the one that slides, is the knot. So over the spool and then just pull and cinch it down. And as I pull this, you're going to see that this, this knot is going to tighten up more and it's going to pull this line through until that knot on the end there butts right up against this knot and that'll stop it from pulling through. And then at that point, this will cinch tight so that it doesn't spin on the spool anymore. So I'm just going to keep on working it back and forth until it sucks up tight there. And then, and now when I pull that way, it'll still slide, but it's it's really tight. And you can hold the line a little to get it nice and snugged. At that point, you just flip your bail back over. And you come out here. Okay, so now that the knot's tied... Um, before we want to spool this up, one thing you always want to do is use a wet paper towel um, and hold your line while you're holding tension. You pull the, the line through the wet paper towel and that what that'll do is that'll put a little bit of tension on it and it keeps it wet and lubricated so you don't worry, you don't have issues with um, the line going on dry and um, abrading. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and spool on just a little bit first and then what I'm basically looking for is for the line to cover the spool here, completely cover it, so that I can just see a little bit of the red and the knot is covered. And then after that, I'll use the braid to fill up the rest of the reel. So I'm going to apply some tension. stop right about there. And once you stop you always want to hold pressure because if I let this go that's going to just blow up off of that spool. Um, you know the diameter of this spool is a lot smaller than the diameter of the fishing line so right now the memory of that is to that size circle. If I let that go this line wants to be that big. So until it's sat on this line and seen some heat and light and you know it's gone to that it will want to sit. So if you were going to stop here and take a break, the really the best part thing you could do is come onto your spool and hook it back under these little stoppers. That's what that is for. Um, you can just kind of come and you tuck it back underneath it like that, and then that would keep that line from blowing off on me. Um, 
So, but what we're going to do now is we're going to tie the um, the knot connecting this mono to the braid. Uh, so I'm going to pull a little off so I can get beyond that top eyelet. I'm going to feed myself through the eyelet. And then I'm going to sit this off to the side for now. And get my braid. So now I got my braid, I'm going to want to do the same thing. I want it to come off the spool counterclockwise. So I'll sit that down on the floor for now. But what we got to do is we got to connect these two lines. Um, actually, let me sit this over here where it's a little bit more natural for me. So I'm going to come to the end of the line here and give yourself, you know, a good six inches or so. It doesn't matter, plenty. Give yourself plenty that way. Um, you can just, you're going to snip off whatever extra is. And you're going to want to lay, lay these in lines. So I have one coming this way, and I got my other tag end over on this side. And they're just overlapping. And I'll do the first one first. So what, what you're going to do is take your tag end of your, of your braid, come back towards the way it started. So there's a little loop here. And I'm going to want to wrap this line around these two and back through this loop. Uh, five, six times, somewhere in there. Um, minimum five, I would say. So, um, I'm going to go one, get a hold of it better. One, two, three, four. And five. And we'll do one more just for good. And then you're gonna pull it back and hold on to your you know, your tag line. And pull these Kind of hard to do, but cinch that right up so that it cinches up like that. And make sure you give that a nice, good, tight pull because what that'll do is I don't know how good you can see if you get up close, you see those little wrapped how they're wrapped around like that. They'll dig into that, into that floral, I mean, into that mono, and get a good bite. Now, on the other side of that knot, we want to do the same with the monofilament. So now we're going to take this one, and we're going to create the same thing, a loop back, and we're going to come through this one six times. I'm going to want to stay on this side of that braided knot. So one, two, three, four, five and six and then I'm going to want to do the same thing snug that one up to before I pull that too tight I'm going to slide it down to the other to the other knot so I'll just pull this one until it comes all the way down to that one, pull it tight like that, and then snug this up. And then same thing. Make sure you pull them both nice and tight so that those are all together. Now that that's all together and you can see it's a nice tight little knot um, that's going to lay nice and flat on that spool and uh, you won't even know it's there. So the next thing we have to do is snip off these tag ends as close to that knot as we can get them. Um, nice pair of scissors is really better for this. 
um, but you don't have to worry too much about it pulling through so it's going to be buried under the other line so it's not too much of a, a worry and then the braid side same thing Give it a good pull, make sure everything's good, and as you can see, that's it's a nice tight knot that's not going to go anywhere. So now we're ready to spool the rest of our line. Um, again, like I was saying, you want to keep your spool directly underneath your eyelet that you're on on your wheel. line comes up off the spool and uh, through here naturally laying the way it naturally goes. And again, as always, you're going to want to wrap up your, um, your line with the paper towel to keep it wet. Um, that'll really allow it to get a nice, nice and tight on the uh, spool, laying nice and flat so that when you do hook in a hook set, hook set, you don't tighten that line up and get it to tuck underneath the other uh, braids below it, which will cause you to have bird's nests. So um, I'm gonna take my time a little until I get until I get all the way up with that knot onto the spool laying nice and flat somewhere. And with, what's good about backing with the mono filament for the braid is it allows the braid to kind of fill all those little cracks on the mono filament, and it gets like a really nice tight seat in there. So basically now I'm just going to try to put a good bit of tension on there and and uh, spool this all up. You want to spool really tight. It's going to loosen up when you fish with it, so but you want to start with it as tight as you can possibly get it. I'm hoping I get this whole spool on here. And I'll explain to you how to know if you got if you have your spool filled properly, if it's under or over, and um, what the problems are to face with that. So, the way you want to, when you want to put down, put, fill your spool, really want to have about, I don't know, a sixteenth of an inch lip on the inside of the spool here and on this side. Um, that's pretty much as far as you want to go. Anything under that, you cast, you won't be able to cast as far, uh, you'll run out of line. Anything too far, you risk the line falling off the spool and causing bird's nests. Um, it looks like I potentially went just a hair too far on the monofilament. Um, so, I don't know if I want to back it off to go all, let's see how much more we can put on. to have the length of the rod too. Yeah, I don't want to further than that. Yeah, I don't really have that much left on there, so... Yeah, I think that's where we should stop on that. See, it's a little further than I really want, but that's not too bad. We still have a little bit of a lip there, a little bit of a lip on the front, so it's not too far. It shouldn't run off. What I'll do is I'll run the extra through the full length of the rod. So, I know I'm going to need quite a bit. I'll rip a bunch off here. Cut it. rest of the rod.
perfect, cut off the perfect amount. Um, so for now, we'll end it there because I still I still need to tie on a um, a lower. So for now, that um, that shows you guys how to spool up fishing line um, onto your new reel. How to do it with a backer and tie, I believe it was a blood knot, could have been a uni knot. Um, you guys can correct me, put it down in the comments, I'm glad to know. Um, but that's how to connect the lines. It's kind of a very similar knot if you're going to tie a leader on. Um, I don't personally ever use leaders, even on my braid. Some guys use floral leaders, but I don't. So that ties that on. Um, please check out my other videos, my $50... Dick's Cash Challenge where I bought this rod and gear and we're going to take this thing out and go catch some fish. Um, you can see that all on that video and um, check out the other video where I show you how to tie a knot onto a hook and how to rig a rubber worm on a hook weedless. Um, so yeah, please uh, hit the like button, subscribe, put a comment down, even if you just say hi, tell me what you want to see, um, ask me any kind of questions, it might get me an idea for another video for you um, but check out my Facebook page the real average angler follow it like it um, you'll see up, upcoming videos and good content tournament fishing different stuff that we do with some funny memes um, but yeah check it out follow it the only way I can get uh, more people and get more content out is to have people that want it and let me know what they want so thank you very much and uh, I'll see you in the next video